Okay, let's now talk about subtraction in the story of exploding dots. For example, let's do 536, take away 123. Well, what I'd like to do is, uh, okay, think of this as the addition of the opposite, because I actually don't believe subtraction exists. To me, subtraction is the addition of the opposite. So, what do I actually mean by that? So if I draw this in a 10-1 machine, 500, okay, 500, there it is, and 30, three tens, and six, then I'm saying, please add to that the opposite of 123. Okay, the opposite of 100, one anti-100. The opposite of two tens, two anti-tens. Opposite of three ones, three anti-ones. There we are, dots and anti-dots at my disposal. Now what happens? If I look at this picture, I see some annihilations will occur. For example, this dot and this anti-dot will annihilate. Poof. Great. Another annihilation? You bet. Here and here. Poof. And again. Poof. All right, a bit smudgy, but there we are. And look, three more annihilations. Three anti-dots and three dots alike. Poof, poof, poof. And what am I left with? Four, one, three. In fact, I look at this answer, it's kind of as though I just went from left to right again, because I like left to right. Five take away one is four, three take away two is one, six take away three is three. Four, one, three. Four hundreds, one ten, and three. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. But I know you're probably thinking that was too nice a problem. So let me now clean the board and do a more complicated problem. Okay, I'm back with a more complicated problem. Here goes. 512 take away 347. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go left to right, as I want to do. Okay, 5 take away 3 is 2. 1 take away 4 is negative 3. 2 take away 7 is negative 5. There it is. The answer is 200 negative 3t negative 5. Done. <laughs> Crazy. Well, this is actually a correct answer. In fact, I'll draw you a picture to show it's correct. In fact, I'll draw you the 10 one machine picture of this. Here goes. Uh, 500. There we are. 500s. 1 10 and 2. 2 ones. Add to that, please. The opposite of three hundreds, yep, three anti-dots, four, uh, uh, four, an four anti-tens, bingo, four anti-dots, and seven anti-ones. Can do that. Six, seven, bingo. Are there any annihilations? You bet. Three anti-dots, three dots, poof, poof, poof. Annihilate. Uh, one dot, one anti-dot, poof. Annihilate. A little smudgy here, but I think we're okay. Uh, two and two, poof, poof. And what are we left with? Two hundreds, yep, two dots. Three anti-dots, three anti-tens. Five anti-dots, five anti-ones. 200, negative 3t, negative five. Absolutely correct. Nothing wrong with that answer. It's a fine, fine answer mathematically. It's just the society, again, thinks this is weird. So the real challenge now is, how can I fix up this weird answer for society's sake? Because most people don't like to say negative 3t, they don't like to say negative five. All right, so what can we do here? Um, hmm, hmm, this takes some thinking. What could I do to fix this up for society? Well, the only thing I can think of right now is this dot here. Where must it have come from? It must have come from 10 dots over yonder. 10 dots must have exploded to make that dot there. Ah, so maybe I can go backwards and unexplode this dot. Wow. Okay, now I need a sound effect for unexplosions. What should unexplosions be? There should be something like a, that's the sound I'll make. All right, I'm gonna unexplode this dot. So that means 10 dots over here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got one less dot here, and I'm going to extra tens dots there. All right, still correct. Nothing's changed here. It's just a different way of representing that number. Ah, but now I get some annihilations. For example, these three anti-dots can annihilate with three actual dots. So poof, poof, poof. So that really leaves seven dots here, and I've got 170, negative five. Sounding better. Still mathematically correct. I can stop there if I want. Mathematics doesn't care. That's fine mathematically. For society, however, let me fix that up. All right, so I can do the same trick. Let's unexplode one of these dots. <sharp inhale> Must have come from 10 over here. All right, so I've got one less dot here, so that's 160, and I've got an extra 10 there. And let's see, uh, what, five annihilations? Five anti-dots, five actual dots? Poof, 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 poof. I think I'm doing it right. Hope the smudginess is not too bad. Leaving five dots there. 165. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so I have a feeling this is different from the traditional algorithm. In fact, I know it is. They go right to left. So it's good to think about why does the standard algorithm work and actually give you the same answer, and why are they both doing the same thing? Because, you know, all correct good math is actually good and correct. Um, but, you know, I'd like to go left to right and do my unexplosions at the end. But let me point out one thing. 
maybe as a compromise between my approach and the standard approaches, go back and do what I did, left to right, get 200, negative 3t, negative 5, and think about what's there. Right now, I've got that 2 is really 200. That negative 3 is really 3 anti tens, negative 30. That negative 5 is really actually negative 5 ones. And look, 200 take away 30, 170, take away 5, 165. So maybe there's something good about this algorithm. Go left to right, write down the answer, it looks crazy for society, but actually it's pretty swift to work out what that answer is in society's language. Brilliant. Love subtraction this way. Now I think we're onto something really cool. Anti-dots, grand. Unexplosions, grand. What power do we now have? Well, let's make good use of it as we carry on with this story.